Welcome to section six of this course on Node.js for beginners. In this section, we are going to learn about NPM. Now, what is NPM? Well, NPM is really two things. First, it is the world's largest software library. Second, it is a software package manager. Let's understand more about these two points. First up, NPM is a software library. Now, if you think about a book library, it contains books written by various authors. Similarly, NPM is a library or a registry which contains code packages written by various developers. It is a large public database of JavaScript code that developers from all over the world can use to share and borrow code. If you author a code package, as we call it, you can publish it to the NPM registry for others to use. On the other hand, if you come across a code package that is authored by someone else and solves the problem you have at hand, you can borrow that code without having to reinvent the wheel. You can visit npmjs.com where you can search for a package in the registry. It truly is the world's largest software library. Let's move on to the second point. NPM is a software package manager. A minute ago, we learned that developers publish and consume code packages. But there is a lot to consider when building a system around that. How does a developer publish a package to the registry? How does a developer consume a package from the registry? What happens if the package author decides to change a function name in a package? How would a consumer of that package update an already installed package? What if the package I am consuming is dependent on another package? As you can see, managing packages in a project is not as simple as it sounds. This is where NPM as a package manager comes to the rescue. We have access to a command line interface tool that lets us install and manage packages in a project. We will learn more about this CLI tool in the upcoming videos, but hopefully what is NPM is now clear to you. What you should know is that similar to NPM, there are other package managers. Examples are PNPM and Yarn. NPM though is the default package manager for Node.js and is installed when you install Node.js. To verify if NPM is installed, in the terminal, run the command npm-v. You should see the version of npm installed on your machine. As you can see, there is no need for a separate installation. It is bundled with Node.js. Finally, you should know that npm did stand for Node Package Manager when it first started out. However, as time progressed, npm evolved and is now a package manager for the JavaScript programming language. It does not necessarily stand for Node Package Manager anymore. In fact, NPM, as you can see, is all in lowercase. Now, why do we need to learn about NPM? I've already hinted towards the answer when describing what it is, but let me put it in simple words. When building enterprise scale applications, we often need to rely on code written by other developers. NPM helps with that. Be it a side project or the project you might work on at your company, you will need NPM. It is fundamental to learning Node.js, which is why in this section, we're going to understand how to work with it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.